Dead by Daylight, a game that some have committed years of their life to. But I want to know who is the smartest killer. I challenged Otstarver, Kaito, and Hens to test their critical thinking, deduction skills, and overall knowledge of the game. If you want to play along, feel free to take as much time as you need after each level. There is one clip for every killer in the game, and it progressively gets harder. All you have to do is identify the add-ons used in each clip to get points. The contestants' point totals will be tallied up as the video progresses so you can see how you measure up against some of the smartest killer mains I could find. Without any more delay, good luck. Do you want to make a guess just to eliminate one? Well, there's one that seems really, really, really obvious. And the point of it is that there's four players. It's five gen, so it's very early in the match. Seems to be like the first chase. And everyone has a tape with them. My first guess is the video tape editing deck. Purple add-on. Uh, that is everyone started with the tape. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. I'm going to say the one that gives them all the tape at the beginning of the trial because it's at five gens and everybody's at the same progression. Well done. You can also see this in the side. Yeah, I saw that too and it was weird because he wasn't near a TV, which is why I was confused. So it's not any of the cloaking ones. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna make a guess and say that it's Bone Clapper because the audio sounded like Bone Clapper just to eliminate it, but I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's the Muffle Bell and the audio is just a bit lacking. Uh, one thing I did notice, it might be. There, there, there's no faster on cloak. There's no faster breakage or, or abilities. It doesn't look particularly fast. So I don't think it's speed. I'm thinking it's gonna be something as simple as uh, the brown add-on, the ghost, which is the one that prevents your your red stain and stuff from coming along. Okay, wait. Give me one more watch on this. I wanna say bone clapper. <sighs> it can be the hound. I don't. I didn't catch any fucking blood. Uh, okay, I think it's the. Um, I think it's the yellow muffling add-on. Then has to be it. Yeah, bone clapper. Well done. Let's go. Ah, uh, uh, I see, I see, I see. No, 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 no. Okay, I would need to watch it again to be 100 billion percent sure. But I think we're looking at Mother's Helpers. It's the green add-on that makes your soul faster after a stun. Our mother's Helper, right? Yep, okay. It's the add-on that makes it so that when he gets stunned, his chainsaw thing increases. The whole play there was hoping that you didn't look at the chainsaw and then that you think it was the one after you're getting blinded here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Spirit. This is the first three. The difficulty jumps up now. Basically, it's the fucking green add-on that gets you your power back when you get pallet stun. It's the fan. It's the fucking fan. I think it's the one where she breaks a pallet because the noise triggered right after she breaks the pallet. That is my guess. Did not see scratch marks and it was pretty fast, but that might be it. What's that? Oh, wait. Hey, one more. Give me one more. Okay, I'm going to say Mother of Three. Oh, it's the one where when her husk explodes, it blocks the window. Well done! You're the first person to get it! Nice, good job. Okay, Doctor, still, you need to use your brain here. Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's the it's the tape that makes the fucking shock circular. I, I think I know what you're on. Is it the one that makes us uh, the change the shape of it and makes it really long? I'm gonna guess it's the add-on that turns his ability into like a straight line instead of the cone. Well done. Uh, difficulty jumping up now, Freddy. Uh, 
Okay, is it the meme add-on that makes it a tiny bit faster when you after you step on us now? I don't see the Freddy though. You guys see the Freddy up here? I didn't see him. Uh, is it class photo? It's the one that when he teleports, it causes all gens to do the blood splatter. Okay, unless I'm fucking stupid, I'm pretty sure that's class photo because he didn't have the horse coming out. That is correct. <laughs> I don't know most of the add-ons because I use like only chilies on him, but the only thing I'm going to guess is the that one eerie add-on that consumes all of his charges um, and makes him slower. Uh, it's the brown add-on that makes the cooldown faster after you successfully down someone with a saw. Okay, wait, wait. Let me let me guess his chest is that you can see so well without me just while rubbing. Okay, it is not. I'm going to go with the knockout add-on, basically, where it like doesn't show the auras. Um, I'm so sorry, I don't remember the, the, the exact name, but I'm going to say it's the Mangold uh, Chains. It is not. The one where the cooldown after hitting a survivor with your chainsaw is reduced. I'm going to say recharge, and that's my only guess. That is not it. This one stumped Ox and Kaito, but as you can see right at the start of the clip, David's aura briefly shows in the bottom right. Dust yourself off, we go into Blight. I believe it's called the Chipped Monocle or something, where he automatically faces the survivors when he bumps into a wall, but I'd, I'd have to rewatch it. A comp on 33. Let's just guess you attack, I guess. Good guess. Second watch. Uh, Vigo's Journal, the purple undetectable. I have no idea, but I'm just gonna guess that it's one of the turn add-ons. All right, summoning's done. It is not. Last watch. I didn't catch really anything, so I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that at some point he got recovery that was too fast, and that it must be the purple alchemist ring. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is like, I don't know, adrenaline vial. Yeah, it's the meme add-on. That makes sense a lot. You missed that one. Good job. Every single killer has something called a meme add-on, which gives you bonus blood points, but makes your power worse. And for this round, the add-on was Blight's meme add-on, which makes him 15% slower. Pick it up, dust yourself off, we're onto Trapper. I'm I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess one of the setting speed add-ons because he said it kind of fast. I don't know what the add-on is called, but if a survivor is trapped and freezing themselves, the trap uh, resets itself. Tension spring, I think it's called. It opens the trap after someone escapes it. Okay, so I'm gonna guess an add-on that that uh, resets the trap. You got it. You got it in the end. We've got trickster. This guy only has five. Yeah, I think he only has five per injury. The, the most noticeable thing is that that reload was fucking insanely fast, which I think is Iron Maiden and Melodious Murder. Or maybe it's only Iron Maiden. I guess my first guess would be Melodious Murder, the green USB stick for faster reload. It's the one that goes through them and does like half laceration if it hits anybody else. Oof, close one, but not it. I nice shot, but that that cooldown from the from the main event looked uh, less than normal. I think. Uh yeah, it's the it's the purple add-on. I believe it's called cut through you single. It, it has the penetration thing where it goes right through you. Oh, unlucky. Ah. I think it is an add-on that makes the laceration meter start decaying. So. Ah. Yeah, that's right. This is meant to be a step up. It's just gradually going up as we go on. Okay, now we're on artist. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's the, oh, I think it's called the Choclo Corn 
Uh, it's either the yellow or the brown add-on that extends the time a bird stays up by two and four seconds. Okay, I didn't see anything. What's the Kuda Loa? Is it the the Kuda Neon? Esther and Carrion. It's the one that adds an additional crow. How, how do you know that? She had four things on her hand. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. You didn't? Bro, it's in like every single one of my secrets videos. So I was looking for that. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, does she have... Okay, I think it's the add-on that gives you four power uses, but your bird goes away quicker. Uh, I, I'm going on an absolute fucking limb because I'm super desperate. I'm going to guess it's the ink egg, which is the purple one that makes you have four birds and it actually makes the, the timer way shorter. Nice, well done. All right, what's next? We got Wesker. Okay, I think I know what it is. It's the one that adds an additional two boxes in the trial. I'm gonna guess it's the, I think it's called the lion, go no, it's not the lion, go uh, the, the goblet, the one that extends the distance that you drag survivors with your thing. I'm not sure if that distance was normal. I think it's the one where you increase the distance before you start throwing. That is not it. I have absolutely no idea. The only thing I can think of is it has something to do with the spray and like the speed of the spray. You did it so fast that I didn't see it, but I'm gonna guess the, I'm pretty sure there's an add-on that increases the time it takes to spray yourself. Uh, it's a, uh, it's the green egg that makes him have a much longer cooldown. I am going to guess it is, <laughs> I, don't know why. Uh, I think it's the one where the infection goes quicker. I feel like you were so close. I am gonna get pissed off no matter what I feel. Unicorn medallion, the brown one, uh, final answer. Nice. Well done. Damn. Okay. This one was very difficult because I only showed it on screen very briefly. But when the survivor is using the first aid spray, you can see that there is the red circle, which means that it's going to take longer. And this means that it must be the add-on red herb, which increases the amount of time to use a first aid spray by two seconds. Yeah, no, it's the, it's the, yeah, I, I remember the name. It's the shotgun speaker. It's the yellow add-on that they actually edited the icon off uh, because it made some people uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that reduces, actually removes the, it's like the lullaby effect, removes the um, skill check. Is it the add-on that makes uh, the skill check not have a warning? The only thing I could think of, even though she goes undetectable, but I'm going to guess that's something that you would do. So I'm going to guess the add-on that gives the drones a, a terror radius. I missed that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to guess that it, it makes you exposed faster or something. You got it correct. Okay, into Plague. You ready? Ah, 
Oh, okay, so the meme on. She can't puke on people. So there's a moment when the Blake pukes on Jeff and he goes, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and his infection doesn't go up. And there's not any moment where anyone gets infected directly. So I'm pretty sure that this is the Harmi Madam, the, the brown tablet. Um, I didn't really notice anything. So I'm just gonna guess the brown add-on that makes it so that her puke doesn't actually affect anybody. It just works on like gens and stuff. That's exactly right, nice. Now we're on to nurse. There's no undetectable going on. I'm gonna guess lunch add-on. Is it the heavy panting, the one that gives you extra lunch? Uh, they just changed nurses add-ons, huh? Okay, the only thing I can think of based on what I saw is the triple blink because it seemed like the charges were coming back slower. I do think your blinking is not that long. And you did seem to do a fully charged one at the end. Could it, could it be that this is the dull bracelet, the yellow meme on that reduces her range? We blink. I'm just gonna throw out a random guess. The one where when you get a successful blink attack, you become 4.6, but then you lose a blink charge. I didn't even pay attention. Oh, bro, if, if it's the decreased blink add-on, then I'm gonna be sad. I'm locking that in. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's the catatonic boy treasure. It's the pine cone, I think it's called. Dude, I have no idea. I'm gonna just make a random guess and go with the brown meme add-on. It is not. It is dark cincture, which changes your movement speed, but only after you've blinked and before you fatigued. So the time window is so small that it is very difficult to notice. On to demo. It is the e add on that makes them undetectable for longer. Red moss. Red moss. Good job, nice. Okay, now we're on to your favorite killer, the knight. Yeah, true. Right, I'm gonna guess it's the add-on that buffs the jello. The dried horse meat, which extends the chase for four seconds. I'm pretty sure there's an add-on that like decreases the deactivation time or something. I'm I'm just guessing that because you hit your guard. It is not. The lightweight griefs, the, the purple add-on that makes him 10% faster. When the guards fail a chase three times, the knight becomes undetectable. It is not. An add-on that makes the guard detect a person faster. Missed that one, unlucky. Okay, this is Legion.
I'm gonna ask, is it the friendship bracelet? The brown launch add-on? Isn't that an add-on that makes people mang it after a chain hit? I'll make a random guess. His brown meme add-on. I don't even know what the meme add-on is, but it's ah. not it. Is it the never sleep pills, the yellow one? The add-on that decreases his speed, but then it makes him faster than normal Feral Frenzy as he hits multiple people. Uh, is it the add-on that makes him faster every time he hits someone? That isn't ah. it. Uh, it's the green stolen sketchbook. It makes successive uh, attacks in Feral Frenzy makes the robbers drop their items. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see anything else, so I'm gonna guess the one that makes your killer instinct longer. Uh, I'm gonna guess the increased launch on. Ah, oh, you dropped the points uh. there. Not quite. Again, a very, very tricky one, but after the second rush hit, every survivor dropped their item. However, only one survivor had their item, and it was the Zarina who was on the floor. You can only see the flashlight on the floor for a very, very brief period. Very well done to Otz for getting this one. Now we have Pyramid Head. <laughs> I think we're looking at... It's one of the purple eggs. It's the one that extends the heartbeat by three seconds. Okay, I think the um, killer instinct was too long on the Rebecca. I think it's the egg add-on. I'm gonna guess the one that makes your killer instinct longer. You are correct. Well done. Okay, how good are you on only add-ons? This is a pretty difficult one. Okay, I think it's activation speed, which is both activation and when you let go of your power. There is a brown add-on and a yellow add-on, both of which make his transition into and out of power faster. And the yellow add-on also gives a little bit of basically duration indirectly. I don't think charge time was weird. I don't think speed was weird. So I'm going to guess, I think it's called splintered hole, which makes you have more blood after throwing a pallet or crouching or whatever, because there's a lot of blood there. Good guess. It is not ah. it. The one that increases the speed that the orbs come closer to you. Okay. It is not third and final watch. You ready? The first option I said where it doesn't Remove as much as the timer when you get it down in your dash. That's my guess. It is not. All right, Dredge, you ready?
Okay, I don't play Dredge very much, so I'm probably going to be utterly clueless. Okay, I'm going to guess that you teleport faster in daytime, which is, I think, a purple add-on. It's the brown add-on that makes you look at the direction that you're currently facing instead of the one you were facing when you set the remnant. And I'm 100% sure I saw that, so it's that one. My guess is that one brown add-on that makes you come out of your remnant facing the same direction that you were facing when you teleport to it. It is not. I think there's an add-on that gives you four teleports. Is that it? That is not it. I'm gonna guess we saw a lock locker anywhere. So it's the one that shows uh, lock lockers uh, yellow. No way you knew that. That's crazy. Well done. I can check for the blood next time. I am gonna guess it's flight speed. I could get rid of two and then look for other things. But I think it's easier to see flight speed than it is to see walking speed. So I'm gonna guess it's the shiny pin, the yellow add-on that makes you faster while you hold it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rule one out and I'm gonna say wind-up time. Good guess. No. I am gonna guess shiny pin, maybe? I'm going to guess it's the flight speed add-on. A hatchet that makes the survivor hemorrhage when they get hit. No, it is not. So I'm looking out for mangled and louder and that's it. I hope there, there, there can't be anything else, right? There can't be anything else. There can't be anything else. And the add-on to make it louder, I think it's only like 25 or 50%. It's not even that insane. That would really suck if it was that. If it's something else I missed, then, you know, touche, well done. I'm gonna guess it's one of the mangled add-ons because I did think I saw some blood and it did look pretty tight together, like, you know. Uh, mangled slash hemorrhage. Okay, I'm just gonna guess the hindered one because hatchet throw speed looked relatively the same. You are wrong. <laughs> Strider, after you hit a hatchet. It's called Coarse Stone, it's a brown add-on, and I've never seen it being used ever. I didn't even know it existed until I made this video. Now we're up to two add-ons. The difficulty here is going to reset. The first two are going to be pretty easy, but it's going to ramp up very quickly. Is it he's moving faster while stalking and uh, mirror mice? Uh, the tier one one. Okay, so the first one that seems fairly obvious is the purple mirror. It's the scratch mirror. Oh shit, I don't remember the. I think it's called glass fragment. It's a yellow add on that makes you see people's autos a bit longer. Okay, well, one of them scratch mirror. Okay, I'm not gonna guess that so I can rule other things out. The increased lunge in tier one. So that's gonna be one of my guesses. And then my other guess is the stalking movement speed one. Movement speed is wrong. Oh, wait. Okay, uh, the, the fast, the longer lunge. So the first one is the lunge movement speed and the second one is uh, scratch mirror. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that other than that add-on, every other add-on just works in tier two and tier three. And the only thing that could work in tier one is one of the three add-ons that increase his stalking speed when moving. It is the jewelry box, the tacky earrings and the fucking yellow one. Good job, nice. Now on to twins, two add-ons again. Uh, 
Okay, uh, it's the one uh, to pull. I don't know the the toenail, the one to pull out faster, and the one that helps you aim. I don't know which what that one's called though. It's the broken nail and the cat figurine. It's the one that shows you the indicator, obviously, and then the second one that decreases the time it takes for Victor to come out of your body. No way, you actually got it. Hag. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's setting speed and uh, deafening. I think the first one is the disfigured ear. Let's guess it's the grandma's heart. Disfigured ear and the whatever distance add-on the the maximum is, I guess, if we're not allowed to guess all three. That is not correct. I'm pretty sure it's uh, the traps trigger from further away. I'm gonna guess setting speed this time, and if it's not that, then it has to be something I've missed. I mean, I'll just guess setting speed then, because uh, like I literally didn't see anything else. Okay, it is not. Uh, so I'm gonna guess it's one of the three teleporting distances, which is the dread cicada, dragonfly wings, or something like that, or dead fly mud. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna guess the radius of the trap itself. You are correct, hold on. Now we're on to clown. You ready? I noticed the party bottle, so that's one of the two. A brown party bottle. Probably the sterling feather then. Or the robin feather, but probably the sterling, the yellow. One of them's the confetti one. The other one, I'll, I'll guess, I think it's like 12% more hindered or something. Like it makes you slower. I think that hindered still stayed a bit longer than normal. I don't know the second one though. Okay, let's just guess both hindered adults, I guess. Minus 4% and one second longer duration. The confetti is correct, the hindered ah. is not. So I'm going to guess the add-on where the hindered lasts longer. Oh, it's cooldown. Oof. Okay, one of them is definitely bottle cooldown. Is it movement speed while throwing in cooldown? That is incorrect. I feel like I'm onto something here because I have no idea what other add-ons it could be. An add-on that adds the number of bottles you have. I'm going to guess uh, cooldown after throwing a bottle and the add-on that changes the arc of the bottle. Okay, it is uh. not. Unlucky. Okay, Death Slinger. You ready? I'm gonna guess prison chains, which makes the chain uh, break slower, and cigar, which makes him recover faster after breaking the chains. I think it's the purple cigar and the purple razor wires that make mending slower. Reload speed as as one of them, and my other one will be a decrease in mending speed. Okay, uh, the decrease in mending is correct. Reload speed is not. Is it the add-on that decreases terrorists when you zoom in? I'm gonna guess the add-on that makes it so that survivors on your spear are on it for longer. That is incorrect. Oh, it's the one that makes it so that when he breaks a chain, his cooldown is faster. Wait, is it is it cooldown? Is it cooldown after shot? Thought you were gonna miss it there. Okay, now we're on to Ghostface.
That add-on makes you not go out of your shroud when you swing. Miss. And the second one... Okay, I'm gonna guess he moved faster after exposing someone for five seconds, which is a purple add-on. Oh, it's, it's the yellow straps. It's the one that makes you not lose your power. Oh, but now the second one's gonna be really hard. Shit. It's the, it's the perfume that extends the timer. The add-on that decreases your terror radius when you're crouching. My second guess is the add-on that prevents you from losing your night shroud if you miss an attack. That isn't uh. it. Okay, does he move faster while being crossed? I think it's called the belt knife clip, and it's the one that reduces your terrors by eight meters when you crouch. You ah. missed that one. Uh, increased uh, duration on marked. Ah. Well done. Again, this one was very easy to miss, but you can see right as the ghost face uncrouches without me moving, you can hear the terror radius come back for just a split second and then he crouches again. When he crouches again, it goes away. And then when he stands back up, it comes back all without the survivor moving whatsoever. Really well done to the guys for getting this one. Okay, now we're on to Nemesis. Ooh. It's the one that shows the aura of the survivor when they get hit by a zombie, and then another one that makes you undetectable when you kill a zombie. Oh, I got them both. Uh, serotonin injector and Star's combat manual. It's definitely the add-on when you kill a zombie, you get undetectable. I am not sure what the second one is. Let's guess one. Zombie speed. Almost. Ah. I said zombie yellow. What? I don't, know. I don't know that one. Brilliant. Oh my god. This is the longest clip in the entire thing, and it is pig. Are you ready? The first one that I'm sure about is either the annotated plan or the annotated sketch, which is either a green or a purple that give the pig an extra trap. The other add-on, I'm gonna guess it's the iridescent videotape. One of them is the one that gives them every single head trap at the beginning of the match. And the second one is the one where if they miss a skill check and a box, they become deep wound. This one add-on, if you fail a skill check, you get into mending, I guess. Uh, second one, I'm gonna guess the add-on that, is it the add-on that gives one more box in total? That isn't it? I think it is the... Yeah, it's the last wheel. Oh, I think it's the add-on that increases your trap count because they all have four traps on right now. The Nia takes it off and then gets another one on. And I believe she only starts with four. Good job. Nice. Okay, with Pig, this one is very funny because hens completely failed this task successfully. He named an add-on which does not exist. Is it the add-on that gives one more box in total? But it used to exist in the additional boxes. That is not a thing anymore. The add-on that used to add additional boxes now adds an additional trap. However, because they are both the same add-on and it was the correct answer, we've given him it anyway. Well done, Hens, for giving a wrong answer and still getting a point. <laughs> okay, final one, Pinhead.
It is the pop add on that makes two chains and peer instead of one if you break it. For the second one, I'm gonna guess it's the eerie one that hides the box until it's nearly done. One of my guesses is the eerie add-on that makes it so that survivors cannot see the aura of the box when they're outside of 24 meters of it. And my other guess is the add-on that if a survivor breaks a chain with the environment, an additional chain spawns. Impaling wire, because there's way too many spawn extra chains. Uh, so that's one. And I would almost say that the second one is the iridescent lament configuration, because you didn't see the box at the start, but maybe you just didn't look. Finished off with a bang. Good shit. And after all that, we have our winner, Kaito. Massive congratulations to him. If you want to see another video like this, the DVD perk experiment will be in a box right here made by Kaito himself. If you enjoyed this video, it took a lot of effort and a long time to make. So if you could drop a subscription, it would mean the world and have a wonderful rest of your day.